This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to What Happened When? With the voice of your childhood, Tony Schiavone. Tony, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm fine. Bring on 1986. I can't believe how many years ago this was. What, Tony, 35, t- 35 t- years now, right? Tony, it's 2021. 20, are you in a time machine? Yes, I am. As you can tell, I'm in a big time machine here. I'm going to go back to... Hmm. I'm going to go back to time when, man, things were wonderful in my life. They are now, but back when things were wonderful in my life, uh, we were having children. I was getting some on a regular basis. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Boy, I was you're starting skinny. off the year on a strong foot here. I was skinny er, mm. um, just had a mustache. Got drunk uh, on occasion with uh, some of the people that you're going to see me interview here. I guess we should go ahead and remind everybody. One of our New Year's initiatives for 2021 is we're going to go week by week here on what happened when celebrating the life and times of Jim Crockett promotions in 1986. Uh, This has been a pretty controversial decision uh, amongst our fan base. Uh, Some of our listeners prefer us to watch more modern stuff like ECW and whatnot. And, and by the way, we've done a ton of that and we'll continue to do a ton of that over on our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash WHW Monday. In fact, just this past week, Tony, you and I did two big bonus episodes. One of which was a Monday night raw from 1996, which we believe was the first time Hunter and Sean were in the main event against each other. But there was a hilarious commercial in the middle of that for warrior university and so much other great stuff. Plus we went back and watched Bret Hart wrestle an I quit match, a submission match, if you will, for the world title against Bob Backlund at survivor series 94, neither of which you had ever seen. And we're going to continue to do all kinds of across the board bonus content that you pick. We don't pick you pick over at patreon.com forward slash WHW Monday, but Tony Jim Crockett promotions, 1986. This was your biggest year ever, right? Sure was. It was uh, the biggest year for the company. Yep. We had been on, uh, by the time we uh, start rolling on this one, we had been on TBS less than a year, but we were basically in our second year of being on TBS. Magnum TA was red hot. Dusty Rhodes was booking uh, better than ever. And we were the alternative to the WWF. Right. And we were, we were more, I guess we were more what, uh, adult oriented. Right. Old school oriented. In other words, if you were a kid and you loved Hulk Hogan and Hulk Hogan's rock and wrestling and all that stuff, more than likely your parents or your grandparents liked what we did better. Right. Because that's what they remember. So it was, it was a great time. It was a great time for me because I was just a couple of years removed from just being a big wrestling fan. And now I was on the other side of the camera. So it was an exciting time for me. And I got to know, you know, some people very, very well, got to be friends with some, uh, people and fr- uh, friends to this day with them. So it was a big moment in my life. I'm trying to think if this is during the time and I, and I hope we can find it. I hope it's during this time, uh, because we're going to watch week to week there. There was one week in this, in this series. And I, and I think it's 86. There's one week in this, I'm almost sure it is one week in the series where I had taken the family. You ready for this? I'm ready to Huntsville, Alabama. What? Yep. Why? To see the space center. Oh, well, yeah. Gotcha. A couple okay. of marks. <laughs> well, you obviously never had a bunch of little kids in your house. I got a bunch of little kids in my house right now. You got a bunch of yapping teenagers in your house and a couple of dogs, a couple of dogs. We had smaller children. Uh, and so we thought, let's go to the space center. And we did, and we, we can, uh, we had a, we had a big weekend space center, went to see the Braves play. And of course, Saturday morning, we did our show. So there is a, a, a moment here where you're going to see, uh, Matt, Chris and Laurie in the stands. Chris Shivani is going to be in a stroller and Matt and Laurie are going to be sitting in chairs with mama. 
And so it was a pretty, it was a pretty cool morning. So I hope we, I, I don't remember what show it is and I hope I can point them out without, you know, you and I talking about, I don't know, dicks or something like that, that T- you Tony, like talk about on the show. Tony, you were, t- you opened this show talking about, Oh, 1986, I was getting some and boy, I hope we can talk about my kids without you talking about dicks. I, I, I've said nothing except happy new year. And I'm so excited about 1986. Why are you painting me with the ugly brush here? I, I don't know. Why would anybody ever paint you with an ugly brush? I don't know. You're being very hurtful. Why, why would anybody be very hurtful f- to you? Because only thing you do is just throw out nice things to us all the time. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's my fault. I know you don't deserve this. You never bust anybody's balls. You don't deserve whatever it is, whatever it is I do to you, Bruce does to you or, uh, Arn, Arn doesn't bust your chops. I'm sure. I'm just really uh, thankful that you finally recognize the, the error of your ways. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to clean things up. Listen, 1986, man, serious business. This is going to be fun. I have a lot of, uh, fond memories of watching this stuff as an adult. It's worth mentioning. I'm four years old when this first airs, I'm not watching wrestling at all. Oh, years old. But once I really got into tape trading and whatnot in the late nineties about every collector there was had a collection of horsemen interviews as a compilation. And you're going to see a ton of that. And as a heads up, we're going to track a lot of great promos because that was such a critical part of Jim Crockett in 1986, but we are still going to let Tony riff and have some fun. Uh, and, and we're starting at a great time, by the way, the four horsemen have really just got up and going. Um, they're just now gaining some steam and momentum in this particular episode, which is January 4th, 1986. You're going to see JJ Dillon announce that he is now exclusive to Tully Blanchard and they're going to start referencing the horsemen. But again, this is very much the infancy of calling themselves the horsemen. It's a really special time. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.